Okay, so just to briefly break down each of these techniques, uh, the first loop was the slap riff. And if you're not familiar with slap technique, essentially uh, it's traditionally called slap and pop because there's a slapping motion and a slapping sound and a popping motion and a popping sound. Slapping is basically just bouncing your thumb off the string. And popping is essentially just getting your finger right under the string, rotating it out and giving it a good tug. Uh, I tried to just essentially emulate a drum beat with this particular slap loop. Uh, usually you can play a lot of notes instead. That's traditionally how slap is used. Um, and when I say you bounce off the string, that's just one way to do it. Uh, a lot of guys these days are doing double thumb technique. Uh, you may have heard of Victor Wooten. He's pretty famous for that. The idea is you essentially go through the string and then back up like a guitar pick. And it kind of opens up uh, the rhythmic field for you quite a bit. Uh, the next thing I looped was just a basic harmonic part, just over and over again on beats two and four. Uh, if you're not familiar with harmonics, essentially what you do is instead of squeezing the string down right behind the fret or right up against the fret the way you might normally, what you do is you hover essentially right above the fret. You don't actually push the string down and then you get that. So the next loop I did was using both playing notes and playing harmonics. All right, now after that, I just decided to improvise a little bit. And um, from there, the next thing I did with the pedals was I was using a super shifter and a delay pedal to make some uh, more high pitched sounds. So I'll just give you an example of that. All right, so that's how that works. Uh, and if you have any questions or anything like that, you can email neilthebassplayer at gmail.com. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.